my character, Wilson, um, is a poor guy who is very complicated, um, and I think he fails to deal with his vulnerabilities in the way that um, men in the modern era should. And he, um, he's kind of representative of that. He's a good man. Um, he's a sweet man. He's a loving man. He has every desire to be a good father, a good friend, and a good husband. But um, he hasn't dealt with the issues that he has in his life in a way that's allowed him to do that. And hence we end up in this horrifying situation where, um, you know, we, w we witness his failures in a way that um, are excruciating and painful for him. Am I a fan of um, holiday movies in general? No, I am not. I hate them. I hate them with a passion. I often find them very saccharine and sort of deliberate and manipulative. But that said, uh, my inner Scrooge comes to life when it comes to holidays, where I always sort of despise the notion of them and they're being forced to actually sort of enjoy these things. But then I'll always end up very drunk at the end of a holiday, sitting on a couch watching a very old nostalgic movie, and I will actually kind of, kind of like it. Anyway. So initially, no, but eventually, yes. When Wilson was Puka, for example, he would be, um, I would be in the suit. So as soon as you're in the suit, then, you know, it's kind of like mask work, sort of different aspects come out. You're allowed to do things that you wouldn't normally do if you weren't wearing a suit, in a sense. So, so that has been kind of easy in that respect, is that you, once that mask goes on, then it's easier to be mischievous. It's easier to sort of be um, pa less palatable. Uh, you, know, you can get away with more. I think what will surprise them is that it's it's just it's such a unique piece. It's like it's like nothing you'll see before, um, you'll have ever seen, and it's it's um, again it subverts the genre. It's it, it subverts every every idea you might have of a Christmas show. This this takes it and puts it through a meat grinder and gives you a burger that you're going to enjoy and remember for the rest of your life because it's just so unique. Um, I think visually it's going to be very exciting. I think. Um, uh, Nacho is, is a genius filmmaker. He really understands the medium of film. So I think it's going to be very, uh, it's going to be a very trippy experience for the audience. And I think they're going to love it.